Hi, I'm Rhys from The Cared Company and welcome back to this YouTube channel. In this channel, we discuss everything that's involved in running our small business. Now, I am out in our garden in sunny, sunny Oxfordshire. I'm having my afternoon coffee. And I thought this is a perfect opportunity to get a quick bit of dog training in. Now, you might be thinking I'm looking very, very relaxed, but we're actually doing very focused training, me and Poppy. Now what we're doing is instead of, or something that's been taught to me, is to just get rid of the food bowl when you're, feeding, when you're feeding your dog every now and then. Taking the opportunity to get the food and use that for your training. Now let me show you how we're doing that in this video. Right, so we've decided to come inside because it's getting a little bit, even though we live in England, and it's not quite summer yet, but it's getting a little bit too hot for Poppy outside and she's started to pant in. And it's kind of about the, the hottest part of the day, early afternoon. It was a better decision to come inside, but we could still do a training session and utilize this meal time inside. So what we've got is her normal lunch portion sectioned off into a handy little sort of treat bag here. And what we're doing is we're not making her work incredibly hard for it. We're just doing similar to what we've done in our previous videos utilizing the kibble, throwing it away from us, and then causing her to then come back to us knowing that there's still some more food to be had. So as long as you don't mind getting a little bit of food on your on your carpet or your rug, it's just a very similar thing to what we we're doing before. It becomes a bit more of a, a game for her. It starts to get her engagement a little bit higher and it gets her a little bit more interested in us or gets us her certainly a lot more interested in us. Now, when you're doing this type of training, there's lots and lots of different things you can do. It's not just a case of throwing it away and getting her to come back. You can start to build up good manners in the dog. You can start to build up the sit command, the come command, or recall command, the down command. Lots and lots of different things. So it's an incredibly versatile thing to do. It does take a little bit of time, but you're going to feed your dog anyway, so you might as well get a little bit of training out of it. So let's show you what we're doing currently. So like I said, there's many, many different things you could do here to start to build up your dog's training. One of the simple ones is just throw it away, have the dog go for it, the dog come back for it. Now she's went a little bit cheeky in there, started licking my hand, but that's because I'm probably speaking to the camera and not looking at her and giving her guidance. But as you see, she's actually just went straight into a sit there, starting to build up those manners. So I throw it away, that was a bit close. Come back, raise the hand, she goes straight down into the sit position. Now what you can start to do is you can start to build up the down position, which we'll cover in a, a separate video. Basically you get the treat, say down, draws the dog down, and you say good down, and reward that behaviour. Now she's just stayed down, so we can bring her back up into the sit, and reward that behaviour. And the next one you can just throw it down to the floor, and then get her to come back, raise your hand, and she's back into the sit position. Now there's lots of other, give that a good little treat there. There's lots of other things you could do. You can start to treat and teach the spin. Let's see if that works. Poppy, spin. Good girl. And it just starts to make meal times quite fun for the dog. Now you don't have to make her work for every single bit of kibble, but every now and again, you can start to throw it away. That one went under the couch annoyingly. You can start to throw it away you're not allowed to make fun of my shorts, by the way, because I'm relaxing. And she comes back naturally. And she starts to look at you for a bit more engagement. Now, she's going to just follow me. She's coming along. She's following me. She gets a little treat for that. We could even put her into the heel. That's a good heel. We could say, poppy heel. Sit. Good girl. You start to teach the heel. And the sit at the same time, you start to teach the wait. This, this sort of method of training, of feeding your dog, I wouldn't suggest doing it every single meal time. That might be a little bit over, a little bit overkill, a bit too much. But it definitely, the dogs definitely do like it. Puppy come. Good girl. What you'll actually find is that after meal time, They've been mentally stimulated. So yes, of course, still give them walks, still give them playtime. 
but this actually starts to mentally stimulate them as well. Poppy, come. Good girl. And a mentally stimulated dog is a happy dog. Come on. Now that's just a very quick video showing you what it is that we're currently doing for some meal times. We we're going to be feeding her anyway, so I thought I would just chuck the camera on and show you what it is that we're currently doing. Now, if you could do me a favour and like this video and subscribe to the channel, it really would help us out moving forward as we're going to be planning to bring a lot more dog content moving forward. Cheeky. If you've got any use out of this video, I'd love to hear your comments in below. And if you actually employ or implement this training at home, put your results in the comments as well. That'd be much appreciated. But if I don't see you throughout the week, enjoy your week and enjoy your next dog walk.